Yes. How are you? Fine, and you? Very good. Yeah. Very good. some more meetings. Dear yeah, Prime Minister, very glad to see you. Yeah. And uh, um, it is actually our first uh, such a meeting. We yes. met in the in the whole <laughs> yes. yeah. but uh, but uh, in this format it is mm -hmm. uh, first meeting, and I'm very glad for that because we are very interested in activating our uh, cooperation uh, with um, Norway and uh, you know that now Armenia in the process of the huge democratic reforms mm -hmm. and uh, um, it, it isn't easy way to uh, pass to go and but um, um, uh, I hope you, you are sure that we Mm -hmm. fully determined to um, go until the end and um, you know um, <coughs> Armenia now definitely a democratic country but uh, I, I say usually that now we have emotional democracy after 2018 uh, mm -hmm. non-violent uh, revolution and now our task is to shift from emotional democracy into institutional democracy mm. to make democracy independent from the moods mm. and test of concrete um, persons and concrete uh, groups and concrete things and so now we are on the way and, um, and now we have approached um, uh, to the uh, to the next station of our reform agenda I mean judiciary reform mm. and uh, in the f uh, f uh, f uh, 5 April we should have a uh, national referendum on, um, on um, our uh, uh, constitutional court and I um, and we will invite European observers to um, observe mm. whole process uh, and uh, to see how our democratic processes are going on I, and I hope that uh, observers from Norway o o also will mm -hmm. uh, be present there and um, unfortunately we have no in Armenia embassy of Norway mm -hmm. but, but we were delighted to know that uh, Norway opened uh, embassy in Georgia so you are approaching mm -hmm. us and <laughs> it is <laughs> very good news and uh, of course uh, uh, European Union became our main partner in uh, reform agenda. We are member of the European Economic Union, but uh, in, um, uh, we have uh, a comprehensive and enhanced partnership agreement with the European Union, and it is actually fully a reform agenda. And it is very important that, um, that we, can, we, we, we don't consider democracy as something that was imported from mm. anywhere to Armenia. We believe that democracy is uh, uh, in the soul and mind, and it mm. is a mindset of our people. Mm. And so uh, the revolution of 2018 proved that. So we need to make uh, democracy sustainable in our country, and I'm sure that democracy is irreversible in our country. Mm. And of course, with the support of our international mm. partner, partners it, it it should be easier to do mm -hmm. but even without that support we are determined to make uh, a democracy sustainable institutionally mm -hmm. thank you thank you and i think um, um, it's it's an important process that you are in the middle of and of course it's usually our parliamentary mem parliament members of the OSCE who will participate to look at the elections and uh, i suppose they <coughs> My, my knowledge is that they like to go around, so <laughs> there probably will be some Norwegians there, but we will also make sure that there are some who can follow what you are doing. Can I, uh, I think it's very positive that you have uh, committed so clearly to reform, and that um, 
uh, we uh, we had this universal periodic review in the new one, and it also shows that you are on the way. But could you say something about what the, the, the obstacles are? If you have the emotions for building the institutions, <coughs> what is the biggest obstacles that you're meeting? Um, you know, um, uh, first of all, it is uh, it is it, it, it is about uh, um, our capacities mm. to to.